Hey YouTubers, I've been following um, the Pander and Chiefs campaign for the last 24 hours. And I have to say that Phil Murphy has exceeded my expectations as a total and utter hypocrite. Murphy has done the exact same thing that he's accused Guadagno of doing. He's turning people against each other. I mean, Murphy's criticized the people in Mawa for not wanting the Hasidic Jews to build in a uh, roof or a kibitz in their village. And Phil Murphy has decided time and time again to put visceral emotions and the rights of the uh, the rights of minority groups above the rule of law. And that's dangerous for a future governor to do. Um the latest was his trip to Lakewood. In Lakewood, Phil Murphy promised that he would stop any state interference into the practice of blockbusting. For those that are unaware of what blockbusting is in Ocean County, let me give you a little rundown. For about the last 20 to 25 years, Hasidic and Orthodox Jews have sought to build an exclusive community in Lakewood Township in Ocean County, New Jersey. And the way that they do that is they'll buy a house in the middle of the street, dirt cheap. Then they'll buy another one for a little bit more money. And what they're doing is they're gradually lowering the home values to the point that um, the people that are outside their community, the owners on the street, are going to just sell. That's blockbusting. And Phil Murphy endorses this concept. He's taken, he's taken the side of criminals solely on the basis of their ethnicity. He's, he's simply underplayed uh, President Trump's um, counteraction to the illegal immigration crisis in this country, which was high noted by what happened in New York City the other day. And it's time for Phil Murphy to be told by the voters of this state that we don't want a panderer in chief. I mean, Chris Christie hasn't been a perfect governor, but Chris Christie has done more for this state and for its welfare than Phil Murphy could hope to achieve in 20 years as governor. And I hope that people see this.